Hi, Kerslings. Today, I want to touch upon this mad mama because it's been a minute. Specifically, I want to talk about M's birthday video because it was kind of depressing. Now, I want to disclaimer this video as I saw a post this morning on this mad mama's snark subreddit that irritated me a little. This post where OP shared screenshots of people bullying Veronica's teenage daughter. It's the LMA part that bothered me the most. Being that we are all adults here, presumably, none of us should be taking pleasure in seeing children, and that includes teenagers, being mocked or bullied. Ideally, anyways. Now, I can't do anything about Reddit, and I'm definitely not going to threaten the mods like some people, or go out of my way to make a duplicate subreddit so that I can control criticism. But I do ask that you guys be respectful in my comments when it comes to minors in general, as my video on Alex's cameos back in April had a similar issue, where people took it as a license to mock him in uncool ways. We're not about that over here. I'm not here to make fun of kids. I think that's low, and and I think that anyone who engages in mocking children or taking joy in their misfortune is a piece of shit. So let's punch upwards and keep our snark firmly focused on their parents. Like Veronica, because Veronica, who bragged about spending $10,000 for Christmas, allegedly, and spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on her teen daughter's birthday last summer, and who many feel is her favorite. Wait, what's your name? And what is it that you want? What I want is some piercings. Okay, what kind of piercings? <laughs> um, snake bites and a belly button. Made her son, M, split a hamburger on his birthday. Yeah, you heard that right. For his 11th birthday, he took his sisters and we went to the mall. On the way, the kids were hungry, so I grabbed a double cheeseburger for them to share. Not only did Veronica make that boy share a double cheeseburger with his three siblings, not one, not two, three, three siblings. They also had to share food court Chinese that Veronica's mother bought for them. My mother met us at the mall and she bought us sunglasses and she got us lunch, which is an actually really cool thing because we haven't had much of a relationship with my mom over the years. And she's been really making an effort lately, which I, I just want to give her a shout out and let her know that we really appreciate it. And don't get it twisted, my loves. I'm not here to poverty shame anyone either. I think that's also pretty gross. My issue is the fact that Veronica, who likes to flex about her income from TikTok. Do you know that I make between 1200 and like $10,000 a month on social media? Is so irresponsible with money that she yo-yos between abundance and scarcity where she'll put out videos about her electric being shut off and her kids eating ravioli from a can to immediately hemorrhaging money on stupid shit. All while going on about how TikTok and making her art is her job. And while yes, it's her money, she can spend it however she wants. It's worth reminding everyone that Veronica is also on food stamps and Medicaid. So it is super frustrating to see her content pendulum between those two extremes, especially when she has children who depend on her for stability. Now, there is an explanation for why her income is so low right now. It's because she hasn't been posting much to TikTok for the last few months due to medical concerns and her mental health. Hi guys, it's this mad mama. Everybody keeps asking me, where have you been? And um, I'm right here. I just been under a lot of stress and dealing with some things like drama with my ex and um, with my health. Um, I still have to have surgery, which I'm not looking forward to at all. I guess emotionally, I just haven't felt up to it. You know, it, it takes a thick skin to post videos online because no matter what you post there's always going to be haters and normally i don't care i laugh at the haters i don't care but i care right now I'm, i feel very vulnerable and i don't want to read the hate so um 
I just, I didn't, I don't even really get on to check comments anymore. I just can't do it. I do plan on being active again very soon. Um, but I appreciate everyone sticking around and being supportive and being awesome. So thank you, everybody, and I'll be back soon. Which is why I haven't been covering her, because I prefer to not kick people while they're down. Doesn't mean I won't, because I will if you deserve it, but in general, it's it's really not that deep. So definitely, things have been skint for Veronica, as I imagine her TikTok and Google AdSense paychecks have likely been on the lighter side. Still, it begs the question, why wasn't she prepared for this, especially if she can afford a $10,000 Christmas? How did she go from that to making her kids split a hamburger less than six months later? The math ain't mathing. And in my opinion, this is where a lot of her criticism tends to stem from, because throughout her content, Veronica has demonstrated irresponsible habits with money, budgeting, and financial planning, including refusing to buy generic brands or shopping at discount stores. Even her house has been a point of concern and contention, as she essentially bought a $20,000 foreclosure that probably should have been condemned if it wasn't when she bought it. Granted, her and her ex Marty have renovated parts of that house, but much of it remains in a state of incompletion and likely it will remain that way. As for the rest of the video, Veronica would take the four kids to get snacks before heading over to the arcade, which is a pretty cool birthday activity, I will admit, and I'm glad that she had the funds to make that happen. And if we're being real, it's likely why she chose to be cheap with the burger in the first place so that she could take the kids to the arcade. So I'm not knocking that part. She tried and mostly delivered a birthday experience for her kiddo that I think they were very happy with, but I worry. I worry that she is not in a place to financially handle the number of kids that she still has, especially when her income very much relies on social media, which is a fickle thing as it is. Veronica has already admitted that her eldest son, Andrew, who is in Marine's boot camp, or whatever, has been sending her money to help her out. Goodness knows what Marty is doing to help her, and clearly her mother can't help her. Only procrastinators will understand. I am so happy because I paid my water bill on time. Like, I didn't wait for a disconnect notice or anything. I just, I just paid it. <laughs> Hopefully, Veronica can step her pussy up and start churning out content again. Ideally, content that doesn't rely on her children to make money, as she doesn't really have the luxury to continue wallowing in self-pity. Pivoting away from Veronica, did you all see that muffin monstrosity that Alicia made? Reddit is calling it the muffin top. Now, a lot of these things that Alicia makes are based on TikTok trends. I say based on because through the Alicia-fication process, where Alicia, Alicia's the trend, the result becomes an adjacent monstrosity to the original intention. I've also noticed that Alicia's bandwagoning of those trends tends to occur towards the end of that particular trend's popularity. I could be wrong, but it definitely feels that way. Or maybe it's just that the Alicia-fication process of that trend feels like a death knell. I don't know. Either way, this is what a cupcake or muffin bouquet is supposed to look like. And this is what we got. So Curslings, what are some of the best worst trends and content ideas that Alicia has Alicia-fied? Let me know down below. Anyway, that's it for me. I want to thank everyone for liking, commenting, and subscribing with a big thank you to my members. As always, you guys are the bee's knees. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!